Dogs 101 celebrates man's best friend. Meet the dog that the Brady Bunch loved. Most dog lovers think they've never seen a bearded collie. But they're no secret in Hollywood. Actor Tim Allen turns into one in The Shaggy Dog. And it's TV's beloved Brady Bunch family who had a bearded collie named Tiger. The beardies, as they are affectionately referred to, are often confused with Old English Sheepdogs. The easiest way to tell the difference is the tail. Bearded collies have tails. Sheepdogs don't. Bearded collies have large, soft, expressive eyes. The color of those eyes often matches the coat. It's almost like they have like a watercolor painting sort of look. Adult beardies are between 45 and 55 pounds, and their oval-shaped paws are very well padded. The beardie is a descendant of European herding dogs, and it's believed that at least the Magyar Commodore and the Polish Lowland Sheepdog are a big part of the beardie's ancestry. All beardies are born with dark coats. As they grow, they gray out. They may change shade throughout their life, but there'll always be a shade of their birth color. I think that the bearded collie should actually be called the bearded bouncy collie. That's just what Melissa and Jim Beck, who live near Pittsburgh, love about bearded collies. After 11 years, their first bearded, named Katie, developed liver cancer at age 11. We knew it was time to put Katie down because um, she was in pain. Heartbroken, the family swore Katie would be their last pet. Well, I think when you have a pet that is such a part of your family and they're gone, you think that you can go on without it, but there's just such an emptiness and a loneliness. So we lasted about two months before we said, we have to get another one. The Beck's youngest son, Jordan, literally grew up with the family's next bearded collie named Molly. They were so close, Jordan even had Molly pose with him for his senior picture. But then six months ago, soon after Molly turned 12, the heartbreak started all over again. Her eyes would tell you the story, you know, as she would start to go up the steps, she would round the corner, and about the second or third step, her rear legs would just go out, and, and she would look at you with a, with a helpless look. It seemed like overnight, Molly was crippled by arthritis, a degenerative disease affecting the joints of dogs, just like humans, as they get older. As her limp got worse, and every time she stood up, she was uh, having trouble just getting moving. We knew that it could very well be the best thing to try and euthanize her uh, if, it, if it kept getting worse. We tried vitamins, we tried nutrition, we tried the glucosamine for dogs. Well, let's see what she does here today. Vets say the number one treatment for all dogs who suffer from arthritis pain is exercise and weight loss. Traditional approaches include medication, vitamins, and supplements. Molly was not responding to any treatments, and when the Beck's vet, Dr. Mike Hutchinson, saw how rapidly Molly was deteriorating, his thigh muscle here on the right side is a little bit thinner than the thigh muscle on the left side. He suggested something they had never heard of, something that astounded them. Stem cell regenerative therapy. This is a new tool to veterinarians. There's about 2,500 veterinarians around the United States that are doing these therapies. The three-hour procedure, which usually costs about $2,000, would take place in Dr. Hutchinson's office. A surgical team removes fat tissue from Molly's body. Millions of stem cells are then removed from the fat. The cells are activated, then injected back into the affected area. Dr. Hutchinson says many dogs appear to be in less pain in a matter of days. I was a little skeptical at first, but it actually seemed to be our last resort to um, have Molly be out of pain. When we come back, we'll see just how well things went and if Molly has gotten her bounce back. Molly is a 12-year-old bearded collie who underwent a new stem cell replacement therapy three weeks ago to deal with severe arthritis. Her owners are taking her back to their vet to check out her progress. Is she feeling better at home? Definitely. Molly is doing great today. Now she's out of pain, so her muscles will start to develop, and she'll start doing much better as she goes along. Good girl, Molly.
Remember how Molly sadly struggled to make it up the stairs before the procedure? Look at the difference just three weeks later. Within probably two weeks, uh, she looked to be a much younger dog, maybe half her age. Some people say to us, you took years off my dog's life. Well, really, they're just out of pain now. Jim and Melissa couldn't be happier that their beloved Beardy has her bounce back. Can I go for a walk? Bearded collies need plenty of space, both indoors and out. Although Beardies can be expected to have a good long life, there are some health issues other than arthritis and cancer. They often have hypothyroidism and they also have Addison's disease. A condition resulting in depression, irregular heartbeat and dehydration. As far as grooming, start when they're puppies and get used to it. The dog should be bathed every six to eight weeks, but it's important, daily brushing and combing. As affable as they are, bearded collies are very strong-willed. So it's important to start training early and be persistent. These dogs need a job, and if you don't give them a job, they'll find a job. And the job they find, you probably won't like. Beardies are a wonderful family pet, but because they can sometimes play rough, they should be supervised around small children. So to recap, the bearded collie needs plenty of space. Generally very healthy, but should be checked for a number of possible illnesses. Grooming? Lots, but it's worth it. And training is a must. Definitely a good pet for the right family, but remember, it's starving for your company and affection. often confused with the old English sheepdog, was bred to help sheep herders. Today, it's popular in Hollywood. Remember, each individual dog is unique and may not conform to breed standards. If you're adopting a dog, do your homework and see the top 100 breeds, excessive droolers, and best family dogs all in one place. Go to AnimalPlanet.com backslash Dogs 101.